Okay, the other day I found a weed eater on the curb with an echo. Um, I took it to the shop and I got the prime bug. And that's what I'm going to replace. And I got a, a oh, mix of oil. So I made up a gallon of oil. Um, it's a uh, non ratio oil. It's, the, the echo oil is just it's whatever. Mix it up. It's aimed for a gallon of gasoline. So that's what I got. There's a few things I have to do with this thing to um, try and get it to uh, work. Um, the, the, the triggers, and of course, like I said, the prime bulb. And this part right here is sideways. So what I have to do is, is straighten it up. And I'm looking down the the uh, shaft of the weed eater. And this is probably where I want that. And then, like I said, the trigger is wrong. So I need to rearrange that. And then I'll uh, we'll put a prime bulb on it. And where is the other one at? Right, right there. We're going to put the prime bulb on it. And we're going to see. Yeah, there's still a little bit. But if you look down the shaft, that's how you line it up. And down the shaft like that. So we'll see if we can get that to work. Um, may have to lube the cable. I'm not sure. It acts like it's kind of slow responding. But the prime bulb is fairly easy to fix. I did find the model number on it. The model number on this weed eater is right here. And it's GT2000, or, I think it's GT, anyway, yeah, it's trimmer, it's right there, so, that's what we did there, and now, let's get this trim bulb up here. Yeah, we'll see if we can get it to run. And I've checked the filter and it's pretty clean. It looks like a reusable filter. So, it's pretty clean. I could probably use the filter. I mean, if it runs, I can go get one. But I've already checked it when I first picked it up. Pull the crank cord on it and it cranks. It's not locked up. So, that's a... That's a positive sign. Just take this out. Which is just basically crumbled out. Take this new one. Mm, let's clean some dirt off that. Let's clean some of the dirt off of here. Now, between the oil and this bulb, this part here, I spent like five bucks. Just a little bit shy of five bucks. So, there's that bulb brand new. We're going to put it on there. And we're going to try. Let's see what happens here. down I've already got the oil and the gasoline so. and there's some string in the weed eater so we're about to find out if this is going to work I'm not sure how many times I want to pump it I'm going to 
Pump it down, see gasoline, I guess. Nasty part here. Careful. Hmm. And there we go. We have gasoline. We have prime bulb. And I see we have a gasoline leak at the hose. So. Alright, we got gasoline in the engine. Okay. Go to trigger. Okay. Well, the next thing to check is the spark plug. I'm not sure I have a spark plug wrench that fits it. May have. We borrowed the chainsaw. Be right back. Let's see if this fits. Yeah, spark plug. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, I don't have a spark plug wrench. Got some deep sockets. I don't know if they're going to check or not. Well, folks, I think that was a fail to start. So we'll uh, we'll see what else we got to do to it. Uh, I'll have to find a socket that fits that spark plug and check it. Um, it looks like we have a fuel line leak, so that's something I have to replace. I have actually have some fuel line, some rubber hose that might fit that fuel line, so that might be a good thing. But that's that's update on the on the weed eater. Another update coming soon. Peace.